Hello there. Um, what I'm doing today is evaluating some screen capture software and I was trying to think of something that could be relatively useful to do to actually demonstrate these products. So what I thought I'd do is show you how to calibrate a video field monitor. The one I'm using here is one that I have running on a laptop and uh, I connect the camera to it and it can record uh, footage straight from the camera. Uh, but the process is exactly the same even if you're using a traditional field monitor. Instead of just adjusting these values here, you just simply adjust the controls on the front of the field monitor. So the first thing we do to calibrate our field monitor is to remove all the chroma from the image. In other words, make it black and white. The next thing we want to do is adjust our contrast. So if I move the contrast so that you can see this a bit easier, it's obviously wrong now, but it allows you to see that there are three bars there. These are called the pluge bars. And the idea is that on a correctly calibrated field monitor, the left two bars will merge into one and into the background. They'll become invisible, while the rightmost bar will still be uh, slightly visible. So let's adjust the contrast and see if we can get to that point. So as we move it down, the bars disappear, merge into the background, but we don't want to go all the way down so we lose all the signal. We want to just be able to see that rightmost bar, but not see the other bars. So I think there is about right. The next thing we want to adjust is the brightness. So if we look here, there again we've got three bars. So if I move the brightness, you might be able to see them a bit easier. Three bars again, and the same principle applies. This time we want to make it so that the left and the middle bar merge into each other. So we can't see three bars, we can only see one bar there. But we want the rightmost bar to be independently visible. So let's move our brightness. If we go all the way, we lose all all the uh, bars, but as we move it back, to keep sliding it back, there's all three bars, and there, maybe just a tad more. Okay, I think that's about right. And then, the next thing we want to do is reintroduce the colour. So hopefully your monitor will have one of these. Most of them have. It makes it very easy. It's called a blue filter. To turn on the blue filter, on an external monitor it would just be a button on the front. And then the idea here is that in a correctly adjusted field monitor, the bars at the top and the bottom would all be the same. So start reintroducing and we're looking for the blue bars to merge and become one. We don't see any line. If we go too far, you can see the line. If we don't go far enough, you can see the line. We're looking for somewhere in the middle where the bars merge. And I think that's about there. So turn off the blue filter. And now you've got a correctly adjusted field monitor. It's adjusted for contrast. It's adjusted for brightness and it's adjusted for colour. Thanks for watching. Bye.